So yeah, if you want to get your uh, greatest tracks on to work out to, then please do. Um, like I say, <clears throat> this is Thursday's Fit 21 and your um, focus is upper body, but don't panic about that. There's going to be other components too. Um, if at any point it all becomes a little bit too much in the upper body, then just, you know, jog on the spot or whatever. You know, everything can be modified Um to, to you know to how you're feeling this morning so if it starts to feel like you're being loaded too much in the upper body so we're working arms we're going to be working the core a little bit as well and the back um so yeah so let's get started same uh, format as we have all week you've got um 15 foot three sets of five fit followed by your power exercise at the end your full body exercise uh, three sets of different exercises. So I'm going to head on over there. Presumably you can all hear me okay because you're looking at me. So yeah, thumbs up. Fab, good. Uh, yeah, keep, keep on moving if you're outside because you might take a little bit longer to warm up than we do in our house. Okay, can you all see me okay? Thumbs up if you can see me okay. Good. All right then. So let's get started. Your first exercise before we start is a jack front raise. So you can start off with the lower version, okay, or you can go straight into the high. I'm going to set the timer. When you're on green, we're going, okay? So this is your first move. <clears throat> so you can take it as a modify here, or you can just go straight into it, yeah, into a star jump. So with this, you really want to think about the yeah, arms being just in line with the shoulders as you bring them up. Okay, and we're working for 30 seconds on each move. There's going to be a little bit of up and down, so you might want to make sure that you're comfortable when you're down on the floor. Um, and we're resting. Okay, so wide press up now. So your hands are slightly wider than the shoulders, knees are down. Okay. Um, and then you're just coming into that wide press up position. Now you are warming up, so just take it nice and easy, nice and slowly. Okay, modify knees down. So I don't want you to slam into any moves, okay, necessarily. And even if it means that you're bringing the knees in a little bit closer and you're coming down just while you get a little bit more comfortable. Okay. Okay, so you're coming down to the floor on the mat, sorry, for your outside. Any hands are coming under the shoulders, tucking the toes, knees are down, and then you're just coming up. Lower yourself down, hands come off, up, come down, hands come off, and up. Okay, so straight into that. You really want to, um, yeah, if you, if you need to get the mat under your knees, that's it. So just in this first round, you want to think about keeping the modification there just whilst you warm up, okay? Three, two, one. You're staying down here, okay? Just keeping you down here. And you're going to bring the arms in front of you. And you're just going to opposite arm, opposite leg, or whichever, whichever leg, or whichever arm. But just warming up the back of the body. Don't go crazy first off. Just squeeze that bum, send the gaze towards the floor. Yeah, so you keep going, press the hips. <clears throat> Good. Well done, four, three, two, one. Okay, up onto your feet now, and we're coming into skaters. So just taking it nice and light across. Yeah, so you've got that little element of warm up. Obviously, you can modify it by step tapping, step tapping with purpose, or you can take it a little bit higher. It very much depends what you've been doing this morning or before this. Especially if you're training outside, you always want to go into the, the exercise a little bit more slowly, simply because you take longer to warm up and muscles are cold. Good. Well done, good. Okay, so we're going back to the beginning now, to your jack front raise. Heart rate should be picking up a bit. So you can keep it here in that modified front raise, or yeah, you can literally just keep it in the star jump. Remember, arms are in line with the shoulders, soft through the knees. Good, nice. Keeping it soft through the knees and keeping the arms just coming in line with the shoulders. Seven seconds. Keep going. Down to your floor, to the mat, wide press up. Remember, 
I would probably be inclined to keep the knees down now unless you're feeling particularly uh, strong. And then coming down, keep the knees down. Hands are slightly wider than shoulders, only slightly. Pressing down with the fingertips. Gazes to the top of the mat, sort of just keeping the spine nice and neutral. Belly buttons are in nice and tight. Keep going. Remember, you can take a more tabletop. Good. Well done. Okay, you're staying down there. You've got that get up now. So the focus is on the push, okay? So knees are down, hands are on the shoulders. Come up, lower down, hands off. Come up, lower down, come down. Now if you want to, you can come into a full get up. Yeah, but keep the body coming up as one unit. Yeah, so really locking out the whole of that core as if you're coming up in a full plank. Four, three, two, one, good. Stay down, coming into those swimmers. So opposite arm, opposite leg, squeezing the bum, activating the whole of the posterior chain here. Yeah, so reaching forward. <clears throat> Making sure that you press the hips firmly down into the mat beneath you. Squeeze the bum, make sure you can feel it in each glute as you raise up. Well done, good job, five. Okay, up onto your feet now, you're coming into those skaters again. So it's that side task if you're modifying, or you can take it a bit more into a power jump from side to side. Use it a bit more strength by coming lower, and leaning more forward. So this is the one that's gonna get your heart rates up nice. If you're not warm already, good, well done, keep going. Use the arms, nice and soft through the knees. Well done, good. And we're going back up to our front raise. You've got your final round before you break. Okay, so the front raise and jack. Soft through the knees. Try to keep it mostly through the toes, but make sure you try and get the heel down a little bit. That's it, good. So arms in line with the shoulders, modify if you need to, step out, well done. Good, some modification if you need to. Yeah. Good. Coming down to the floor for this wide press up stance. So hands just slightly wider than shoulders. Knees are down, belly buttons in, and then we're coming down. But remember, you can come into this tabletop position and you can just lower yourself down as long as the belly button is in nice and tight. Or of course, you can come into your full press up if you're feeling warm enough, making sure that you're pressing down with the full hand, fingers, knuckles, everything. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this is your get up now. So the whole of your body lying on the floor, squeezing everything, hands come off, and then you're pressing up. Okay, and press up. Yeah, so you're locking up. You don't want to be coming up and letting that back bend. You need everything to be nice and so as if you were wearing a, a corset, if you like. <laughs> I, don't I don't even know how many people I know wear corsets these days. But there we go. So lock out the abdominals, like brace all the mid area. Okay, so now we're staying down because you've got your swimmers. So here, if you want to, and you're feeling a little bit warmer, you can maybe gaze to the floor, squeeze the bum, reaching with the hands, softening through the shoulders, and you just take it up. But equally remember, you can also just take it a little bit more slowly if you want to. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So coming up onto your feet, we've got skaters. So remember, everything can be tailored depending on what you want to get out of it. Yeah, so with this skater, you almost might imagine that you're pushing yourself forward with those skates. You can even move it if you want to, if you've got the room. 
you get them fed up of being on the same spot, it's entirely up to you. That's it, good. Not long now. Okay, so your final move here is uh, a burpee, I'm afraid. Here they are again. We love to hate burpees. So down, step back, bring it in, up to modify. You can bring it back in. You can take the jump away, or you can just whack into it. So you take your pick, modify if you're not warm enough. Yeah, this is the first round. That's it, hands under shoulders, pressing down with the fingers. Three seconds, you get a whole 30 seconds break now. So grab yourself a drink, keep your feet moving. Well done. We love the orange screen. The orange screen is the winner, okay? Orange screen means break. Okay, so we can kiss that little round goodbye now because we're moving on to our second uh, lot of five exercises. Look how thrilled you all are. Yay! Good, okay. So we've got six seconds. Scissors is your next exercise up on your feet. So scissors, yeah. So slightly leaning forward, let's go. Slightly leaning forward. Yeah, if you want to make it bigger, you can. If you want to take the impact away. So you're just tapping it out. So pick an option that's good for you. Good. We get those heart rates up, make big arms, even though you're taking the impact away. Good, well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this is cliffhanger plank. It's the only thing I could think to call it. So basically keeping your knees down for me, you're in a kind of plank position. I want you to walk the hands away from yourself as far as you can, hold it, and then bring them back in. So it's like three moves. So moving it away, one, two, three, and then lock it out, bring it back in. Yeah. So just walk the hands away. It doesn't have to necessarily be any system, but draw that belly button in with the hands away and then bringing them back in. Okay, hold it there. That's a grower, isn't it? Now we're coming into an inverted shoulder press. So just hitch your tailbone up. Your hands are kind of in a diamond position here. You're looking towards the feet. And then we're going to come down and up, down and up. Now, if this is too much, then you can just take a little bend through the knees, okay? But just listen to your body. So we're working the shoulders here, tops of the shoulders. Remember to breathe when your head is down. Good, okay, because otherwise you feel dizzy when you stand up. Okay, onto your backs, legs up in the air, Arms up in the air, dead bugs, okay? So you drop in alternate leg to alternate arm. But again, if you can't remember and you're dropping the same one, nothing happens, okay? You're just pressing that lower back in, no matter what you're doing. Remember, you've got three rounds of this, so you've got plenty of time to get used to the moves. Good. Well done. Okay, you're coming up onto your feet now. And we're doing a 10 to two. So the feet are kind of at an angle, like as if you were going 10 to two, or the other way around for you, yeah? Now, options are to take it, yeah? Take the impact away. Otherwise, 10 to two. Good. Keep going. Nice, well done. Keep the elbows up, uh, arms up. Four, three, looking good, two, one, okay. We're going back up to the scissors now. It felt like ages ago with scissors, doesn't it? Okay, ready? Off we go. So scissors. Yeah, remember big move if you want to, or you're making it small, but purposeful. Yeah, so keep the move sharp. Good, a bit like a good old fashioned spotty dog in aerobics. That's it, lovely. Good, a seven seconds. Well done. Right, we're back to that cliffhanger plank. Knees can stay down here, walking the hands away, locking it out, 
and then bring them back in. Well, now you can pick the knees up, walk the hands away, hold it for a minute, brace the uh, abdominals, and then come back in. I said hold it for a minute, I didn't actually mean a minute. And then a few seconds. Good, so hold it and come back in. But equally, you can just pop your knees down and go within your range, you're happy. Okay, so now we're going into that inverted shoulder press. So remember your hands can be here and you could just be going down. We'll pick up the tailbone, send the gaze towards the shins, draw the belly button in, trying to lower the head into the space between the hands. So shoulder press, it's like an inverted shoulder press, working the tops of the shoulders, using our body weight, good. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. Okay, let's uh, have a little lie down for a moment, doing our dead bugs. Arms in the air, legs in the air, dropping one arm and one leg. Alternate preferably, but it doesn't matter if you get a bit confused. So the main thing here is that you're pressing the lower abdominals into the floor, sorry, the lower back into the floor, and that you're really feeling it at the end of that move when you're just about to bring it back in. Keep going, a couple of seconds left. Good job, okay, up on your feet for our 10 to two. So 10 to two modified, yeah, arms up, or 10 to two. 10 to two because it's 10 o'clock and two o'clock with the feet on a clock. Well done, good job. Should be feeling nice and warm by now. I hope you've got some good tunes on in the background. Good, well done. Okay, good. Well, we're going back to the first exercise. This is your scissors, okay? So scissors, weight forward, big arms, big move, or a little bit more upright or less impact, keep going. What's going on with my screen? Just keep going. Maybe because I'm jumping around, who knows? Four, three, two, one, and stop. Technical issues, keep the feet warm. You're coming now into your cliffhanger plan. So we'll just go with that while I sort this. So into that plank position, walk the hands away. Okay, and then bring it back in so the hands will come into the shoulders or drop the knees down. So take a few rounds of that. I want to work out what's going on here. I think it's because I'm talking. <laughs> Seven seconds left. Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay, good. Hold it there. You're coming into your inverted shoulder press. I'll be getting that screen back up in a minute, don't worry. So hips are up and then pressing it down and up or dropping the knees and taking it down that way. Who knows? I don't know what's happened. It's like my smart TV is not so smart anymore. Right, okay. So we have nine seconds left. You probably can't see that from where you are. Three, two, one, and hold it there. Okay, so now you're doing dead bugs. Arms in the air, legs in the air. Three, two, one, let's go. So drop the arm and the leg, alternate. That's it, well done. Good, remember it doesn't matter if the legs are going in a bit of a weird, weird way and they're not going in alternate, just get that lower back pressed into the mat. You've got seven, <clears throat> seven seconds left. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, rest out. Okay, up onto your feet for me. We're gonna do dead bugs, okay? So dead bugs, they're not dead bugs, I'm saying dead bugs, I mean 10 to two, 10 to two. Okay, remember your alternative is simply to step it out. I'm trying to get the timer up for you because it's quite nice to be able to see it yourself. Let's see what happens now. 10 seconds. That's it. 
Good job. Keep going. Here's the timer. Worked again now. Three, two, one. And hold it here. Okay, your final move is your burpee, I'm afraid. So make it as interesting as you like. Okay, take the modification if you want to. If you just want to take a break, you can just squat it out. Okay, so that's it. If you're finding now you're getting a bit tired, squat it out. Good, well done. Nice burpees. You can make it fancy with that jump at the end. Lovely, well done, good. And hold it here. Take a break now, have a little walk around, don't just stop. You've got a break, 30 seconds. The orange screen is here. So have a drink if you need one. Oh, sorry about the little interlude with the movies on the screen. Technology is great when it works. Good, okay, so we're coming into your third round of exercises now, three sets of five. You're gonna be starting with um, high knees, good old fashioned, old school high knees, okay? Let's just enjoy this last couple of seconds and off we go. Okay, so high knees, knees are now in line with the hips, okay? Or drive the knees up. Listen, you don't have to be jumping to be working hard, all right? It's a massive misconception. You can work just as hard, getting those knees up, that's it, use the arms, that's it. Try and keep the knee in line with the, the hip. Good, three, two, one, good. Now we're gonna go into seal press up. So your hands are like this, okay? I'm gonna come down so and show you from this angle. My fingers are pointing outwards and they're wide, okay? Knees are down initially and you're gonna be coming up and down. So your hands really, are, you know, probably feeling quite awkward here, but you're just working a different part of the body. So you're almost in that kind of seal position. By all means, you can pick the knees up. Just get used to that move. Three, two, one. Okay, you're going onto your back now, knees to chest. So low impact, knees to chest, or taking it a little bit higher, knees to chest, all right? So try not to depend too much now on the um, hip flexors and the quads, they will come in, but really draw the belly button in, okay? Lower back, shoulders are nice and open. And remember the modification for this, yeah, is just to take one leg at a time. Okay, so we're going on our fronts now. Yep. That's it, cleaning the floor well today. So going into a breast stroke back extension. So you're starting in and then out. Yeah, so as if you're swimming, like doing a breast stroke in a pool. So I am squeezing the whole of the back of my body. Imagine that you're pressing that water away. You're wishing that we were in the sea right now. Not this one, a tropical one, a warm one. Good, squeeze the bum, good. Right, now you're coming on to your um, backs. Again, sorry, tricep dips. So you're coming into this tricep dip, tap the knee. Tricep dip, tap the knee. Bum can stay down, yeah? If you wanna take the pressure off a bit, otherwise squeeze the bum through, tricep dip, tap the knee. So you've got that element of balance while you're working the back of the arm. And then once you get a little bit of coordination, yeah? Good, okay, up onto your feet. Are you ready with those high knees? Off we go. So remember, tailbone is under, the button is in nice and tight, knees are coming up to hip distance. Give us a smile. Or a grimace, I'll take that, it's fine, good. Well done, good, so keep it going. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going down into that seal press up. Remember the hands are really quite wide. Fingertips are pointing outwards, okay? You can pick the knees off this time and then you can come into that seal press up. Obviously knees can stay down, okay? 
Make sure you're pressing with the whole of the hand. Yes, you feel you're working a different area as you press up and down. Nine seconds. There should be no doubt in your mind that focus is upper body today. Three, two, one, good. Okay, up onto your uh, bums, sorry, turn over onto your bums. Knees to chest now, okay? So knees to chest, extension. Yeah. Or knee, yeah, open out. Or if it's too much, lower backs are hurting. Yeah, so you've got to listen to your body. There's no point hurting yourself slamming into something and then not being able to do anything for weeks. So frustrating, you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, breaststroke, so down onto the floor, turning over. Remember, we're swimming. I don't know where I am, I think I might be in, I think I'm in the Caribbean. So squeeze the bum, lift the chest. Squeeze the bum, lift the chest. Good. I think visualization's good here. So have a think about where you'd like to be swimming. Give it some welly. Swimming to the shore to lie on your lounge in the sunshine. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, just flipping it over now, coming into that um, tricep dips. Remember, option one is to just lean it back. Level two, squeeze up, drop it down. Woo, she says. Take your time, <laughs> otherwise you get a wobble on. Yeah, that's it. So work in the backs of the arms, really work in the uh, core muscles as well. Good. Well done, keep going. Okay, back up onto your feet. You've got your final round before those burpees. High knees, let's go. So high knees. Yeah, so let's pick it up. I'm gonna stop doing that because it's a bit off putting the noise. You'll probably hear that. That's it. So try and get those knees up, get those arms moving. Well done. Remember, take the intensity away from it. Hopefully, you got a bit of a sweat on. Unless you're outside, you may take some time. Good, keep going. Modify if you need to. Good, right, back into the lovely seal presser. So hands are pointing outward, body is in a nice straight line, knees are down if you need to, and they're pressing down and up. Make sure you're pressing with the fingertips and the knuckles, so don't just rely upon the heel of the hand or the fingers, yeah? So make sure you're pressing with the whole thing, so you're recruiting everything. Well done, good. Seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so now you are knees to chest. Yeah, so options. Yeah, or full on knees to chest. You're looking to tap the outside of the thighs and the outside of the ankles. Yeah, so press that lower back into the floor. Nice open shoulders. Good, well done, keep going. Don't forget to breathe out on the way up. <laughs> Five, three, two, one. And now we're coming into our, we're going for a swim again. Okay, so let's go. Rest strokes, really kind of opening out the body and swimming it. That's it. So imagine you're just pushing against that, that current, that tide, that current, push the water away, open up the chest. Good. Seven seconds, three, two, one. Good, okay, so coming into tricep dip now. So remember alternatives, we're coming up, squeeze the bum through and get that little element of balance going in at the top. So we're shifting the weight slightly from side to side. Good, keep going. Make sure you use your glutes here to so squeeze your bum up and through if you're lifting up and through. Fingers are forward, so your fingers are towards your bum. As you go down, knee up, go down, knee up. Good. Three, 
two, one. Back onto your feet for your last exercise. That's your, that's your burpee. You ready? Let's go. So burpee, take it wherever you want. You can add to the end. You could make that jump at the end, a little tuck jump if you fancied. Yes, love it, good. That's it, well done. So keep going. Tuck jump at the end if you want to. Remember you can modify. Keep it going, you've got three, two, one. And rest it out. That's a good sign, isn't it? The orange screen. We love the orange screen. Good. Well done, everybody. We're going to cool down. You should have felt that half an hour of working out. <laughs> good. Well done. I'm going to just get a little cool down for you now. So just taking a deep breath in and out. Good. In and out. Lovely job last time. Reach all the way up and over. So length through the sides, taking it round to the other side. Up and over. Good. Okay, you're gonna step your right leg back, reach all the way forward with that right arm. Make sure you're getting the heel down on the back foot, stretching out the calf. Back leg comes in, drop it down into the center, arm comes across the chest. Nice. Bringing the hands to the hips and hitch that tailbone up. You're going to lengthen through that front leg. Okay. So back is nice and neutral. You only want to flip the tailbone up. Back is nice and neutral. Activity completed. Nuts. Okay. So we're going to take the left leg back, reach all the way forward with that left arm. So reach towards me. Back leg in, body into the center, drop it down, arm across the chest. Good. Okay, hands onto your hips, hitch the tailbone up, lengthen through that front leg. Good. Now, holding onto something if you need to, bring that right knee in towards the chest. Maybe opening up around the, the bum and the back of the leg. And then taking hold of the shoelace part of the shoe, pressing the hip forward. That's it, reaching up if you want to. So make sure the heel is away from the bum, that you're actually pushing the foot into the hand rather than bringing the heel into the bum. Crossing the leg over, one side and then the other. Good, bring this left knee in. Well done, and then bring that left foot in towards the bum, but leaving a little bit of space, so pressing that foot in, opening up the hip flexor. Good, okay, cross that leg over, bring one arm over, it doesn't matter which one, and then the other. Good, okay, take a deep breath in, reach the arms all the way up, exhale all the way over, forward fold, so really feeling it into the backs of the hamstrings, lower back, relax the head, just taking the hands over to the right leg and then over to the left leg. Bringing it back into the center, softening through the knees, scrolling up through the spine. Bringing the hands behind the back, interlacing the fingers, chest forward. Well done, release the hands, take a deep breath in and out. In and out. One more time, feet together. Roll it down. Well done, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, just 